Hey everybody, welcome to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and today we got another magic trick for you. Welcome to the channel, welcome. My name is David. This is my little space on the internet where I uh, review stuff. I do unboxings for magic tricks and playing cards and once in a while, every once in a while, I do a giveaway. Doing a giveaway right now, actually giving away some magic on this channel and giving away playing cards over on my Instagram channel. So if you're not following me in those places or you don't have your notifications, bing, bing, turned on, uh, maybe you might not know about that, but I always do giveaways every single month. So make sure you got your likes and subscribes and all those buttons pushed. And if you're already a subscriber or you keep coming back week after week to watch what I do here, thank you so much. Uh, I really wouldn't be here without any of you guys. And so uh, that means a lot to me. It really does. Thank you again. Today, we got a really interesting one for you. This is Spark from Orange Tree. Now, originally, Seeing that graphic, seeing the graphic for Orange Tree, I was immediately drawn to a classic effect. And I am sure, I didn't ask how, but I am sure this has got to be the inspiration behind the name of their magic company. Uh, Orange Tree, or The Orange Tree, is a classic of magic. It's one of those old-timey, old-fashioned, long-time-ago tricks that not only blew people away back in the 1800s, but... Still today, people are like, that is one of the best tricks ever. Uh, Robert Howden created it, and it was performed uh, by Paul Daniels. Go out and research that effect. We all need to learn our magic history and continue to teach ourselves those stories so that they are not forgotten. All right, so Spark, what is this effect? It is, well, it's a remote control candle. That's really what it is at the core. It's a self-lighting candle. Like, you could have this candle, it's modeled after a real Ikea candle, you could have it on uh, your stage, you could be across the room, you could be blindfolded, and uh, the candle will just light on fire at your command. This is a really cool prop with a lot of uses. Let's talk about it. All right, so the important questions we ask for every magic review, the first of which is, what's in the box? You get a nice hard shell box. Uh, you're gonna get the USB real wax candle, that's right. It's a USB charged, but real wax candle. You're gonna get the remote control. Remote control is about the same size as maybe a playing card folded in half. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like in my hand, just so you get the idea of what you're trying to conceal. Uh, you get the charging cable. Uh, you're gonna get some cotton, some cotton to help you uh, with the trick. But I will say this, the candle is set up for you, ready to go. In the video, they walk you through how to set the candle up, but when you get yours and open it, you will notice that your candle has already been set up for you. The only thing you will need to make this work once you get it is you need to go get lighter fluid. So lighter fluid is something that can't get shipped in the mail, especially depending on where you live. So if you order Spark, make sure you run to the store, grab some lighter fluid and come back so that by the time you get it in the mail, you'll be able to perform it. The other thing that's consumable in this effect uh, really is the wick obviously, right? When you have a candle, it's a real wick, it's gonna burn. They're gonna give you a meter length of wick. That meter should last you about 50 performances, but it's another consumable, something else you'll have to purchase to keep this trick going. 
is it what I thought? Yes, and it's what you think too. It's a remote control candle. I mean, there's a candle, you hit the remote, it lights, and that's what it does, right? There's nothing. It is basically a remote controlled Zippo lighter, really. I mean, if you've ever used a Zippo before, it's the same kind of uh, fuel, same kind of everything. So it's a remote control Zippo lighter inside of a candle shell. How are the angles? I mean, there's really nothing to see as long as you're hiding the remote, right? And, as long, and you know, I don't think anyone's looking at you anyway. I think once they see the candle light, they're almost forgetting to look back at you. And by the time they remember to look at you, there shouldn't be anything left to see. As far as whether it can be inspected or not, I think the candle passes a, a good observation from all the way around. And like I said, it's made from real wax, so it's gonna feel like a real candle. You wouldn't turn it upside down because that's gonna be where the battery housing and the, the USB charging stuff is. So I think once you turn it upside down, it's the you know mechanics of it are kind of exposed. I suppose you could cut like a piece of felt and glue it to the bottom. Some candles have you know, a felt bottom that protects the furniture, but I don't know that that's needed. I think this is really a parlor trick or a stage trick. No one's gonna be asking to see your candle. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? The video is only 20 minutes long, so it's not extremely long. I'm not gonna go over a ton of stuff. Uh, you get a table shot. Uh, I don't believe the uh, teacher is mic'd, so it's a little echoey. They're gonna walk you through a setup phase where they take you through how to get the candle ready to go. Uh, he's a little closer to the camera in that section, so it's a little bit better to hear. They're gonna cover, of course, what's in the box, how you charge the candle, how to prepare the candle for all your performances. That's really half the video. That's like 10 minutes right there. Then they'll talk about how to add wax back to your candle once the wax that's in your candle burns away. Uh, just to prolong its longevity so that it continues to look like a new candle. And then they'll teach you a very simple card trick at the end. Is it well made? Uh, this is beautifully well made. It looks exactly like how it should. Like I said, the exterior is wax. It feels like a real candle. It looks like a real candle. So it's a, it's a gorgeous prop. How much practice does it require? Zero. I mean, if you've ever held a remote control in your hand and you've turned things on, before. Obviously you can't turn it off, right? You can't, you, you blow the candle out. That's how the candle extinguishes. But if you can push a button and make sure that you're within, you know, distance of the candle, I mean, there is nothing else to practice. All right. So how much setup and reset is there? What's the performance life? How, how is this going to work in real life? Um, if you watch the video in the video, they talk about, uh, the test that they did. They said the candle can last up to 24 hours after it's been fueled and you can actually set it up hours before your show and it's fine. If you keep it covered and stored in the box that it came in, it'll last for two to three days. And on the battery side, after it's fully charged, it can last around three to four hours while it is in the on position. If you have it in the off position, the battery will actually not drain. Now, once you turn the candle on and ignite it, it probably has about 15 minutes of continuous burn. So if you were doing this at the end of your show, it could easily come on during the last 15 minutes of your show and stay on. However, if you chose to blow it out and relight it, it can continue to reignite over and over and over again. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Uh, spark looks like it came straight out of a movie set. Now you can summon fire on command. All right, so negatives, what are the negatives? Hey, I always wanna give you the good and the bad. I wanna be completely honest with you and give you everything because I know you are smart enough to make your own decisions, to make up your own mind about what to spend money on. You're never gonna see me at the end of my video say five stars or four stars. I'm probably never gonna say don't buy this, it's junk or it's garbage because I'm giving you all the information. You decide whether it's right for you. You make up your own mind about whether this trick works for you because not all tricks work for everybody. And just because one person says it's garbage, somebody else could say it's a miracle. And in their hands, it probably will be. Uh, my negative for this was, the video was really short, right? 20 minutes. And you know, just talk about how much you're paying for this. How much is this? It's 150 bucks. It's 150 bucks. So for 150 bucks, and it's, a, it's well worth it because I mean, this is a stage prop. This is priced for the working professional. You're not gonna buy this unless you're a working pro, unless you've got gigs where you do parlor magic or stage magic and you want that prop that's gonna just blow minds, right? So you're dropping 150 for this. I would still expect a longer video than 20 minutes. In the trailer, they show uh, the gypsy thread routine, which 
the gypsy thread routine uses flame, right? And it would be perfect. And so if you already do gypsy thread, you're thinking, ooh, this is great. And they even give you thread in the box to do gypsy thread with, but they don't teach a gypsy thread routine. So whether it's theirs to teach, you know, I don't, I don't know if they didn't want to come up with their own routine, that's fine. Like I said, they only teach you a, a simple card trick. It's just one of those props where you're going to have to look at the trailer and think to yourself, I already know how I would use this, right? Maybe you already have a candle on stage in your act. If that's true, then why not have a magic candle, right? Why not have a candle where you can summon fire at will? So as far as who would like this, I definitely think it's a stage prop, it's a parlor prop, it's priced for the working professional. The, the average person is probably not going to drop $150 for this. Uh, you know, for, for just for, to entertain their friends. However, I don't, I don't know if you had this candle set up on your your mantle with all your other IKEA candles, and you were having dinner with your friends, and you went, "Hey, watch this!" and pff, you made fire up here uh, across the way. You'd probably blow your dinner guests uh, out of the water. So, I mean, it, for 150 bucks, it's a pretty cool effect uh, to have in your house, just as some fun thing that you could do on command. But as a magic trick, I definitely think this is going to work better in a routine, right? This isn't a trick you're going to just do as a standalone. You're not going to just say, hey, watch me make this light and make it light. You're definitely going to add this to some sort of mentalism piece or mind reading piece uh, where you're trying to create ambiance or something like the gypsy thread where the flame element is part of the magic trick. All right, so that's everything I can say about Spark from Kelvin Chow. And I personally want to thank him for asking me to do this review for you. If you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can only get it from one place, at least at the time of this recording. Uh, you can only get it from totmagics.com. That's T-O-T-M-A-G-I-C-S dot com. Head on down there so that you can purchase your own Spark. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Uh, as you know, it's Halloween season right now and Halloween is my favorite time of year. Uh, a couple years ago, I did a series of brief little deck reviews called the 13 decks of Halloween. And in that series, I show off the 13 decks in my collection that I think are the spookiest. And so if you wanna watch those, they're really quick. Each video is only about two minutes long. You can just go up to the search field and type in hashtag 13 decks of Halloween, and it'll bring all those up for you. And uh, that might help get you in the mood uh, for this spooky time of year.